nice to meet you, Ethan. Um, so hey. you pretty much answered my question because I was going to say what's more realistic, a Jimmy Butler contract extension or Tyler Harrow being traded um, mm -hmm. this offseason. But I, I'll change it around and go, go with this. So if Tyler Harrow is most likely going to be traded, like what package do you see or vision that the Heat could get off him? Because, you know, with the – Injuries that occur every season. Um, mm -hmm. He finally had a really, really good playoff game on um, the last game, too, but has been up and down during the playoffs, averaging 14 points a game. Like, is there – obviously, this is going to be an addition for him in this playoff um, run mm -hmm. right here. Is, is it – are we going – because you brought up the wheel. Like, we're not going to get that because that's not what the Heat really want to do at this point, maybe they, if it's available. But, like, what's his, like, value, you think, at the moment or after this series, depending – how everything kind of falls out for Tyler. Well, I think the I think the way we frame the Tyler thing has always been okay. He's the piece that you trade to try to get a star. Um, and you know that's we've had the conversation about Durant, about Mitchell, um, and about Dame. I, I actually think there might be a different discussion this off season. I, I think that the Heat might consider actually trading him just to reshuffle the roster, and by that I mean allocating his money to a different spot on the roster. Maybe, maybe it's a big that you can get yourself some more size and throw into the rotation with Bam and Jovic. And then you bring love back, uh, as a, you know, as, as kind of a supporting piece, which I think they'll absolutely do. So I think it's more that I think this is more of a, like when they traded Eddie Jones and they ended up, you know, getting Antoine Walker and James Posey and some other pieces. I, I, I don't, I think this idea of like dangling Tyler for the whale, I, I, I don't think that's where they're at right now. And I don't think that's where the league is at. It doesn't mean that they don't think league doesn't think he's a good player, but again, I, I think he has to be used properly. Um, I don't think the fit with him and Jimmy in particular has been great on the court. And I think that that, that is something you need to consider. And I, I think the team functioned better offensively this year when Duncan was in that lineup being Duncan was right now. And this is a different, uh, situation, you know, that they're dealing with right now. So I, I just think we got to look at it differently. I do think Tyler could still be moved. I don't think that they're, they're going to push to move him, but I think he could be moved, but I think if he's moved, I think it'll be more, okay, can we get a big, and look, I'm not saying this particular player, but I'm saying like, could you get a Jeremy Grant type player for Tyler? Like that, that's what I'm talking Just a different kind of player maybe fits a little bit better in the starting lineup, particularly because remember they got two years left with Rozier. Um, and they really haven't gotten a chance to see what the Rozier hero backcourt looks like. Um, and so, you know, that's the one thing. And the other thing, I, the question that came up earlier, and I, I didn't answer about Terry, we'll get more answers on that tomorrow. I'm going out to practice. Um, they're going to be cautious with the neck injury. So we'll see. Uh, you know, I do believe that he's targeting playing in this series, but I think people got ahead of themselves when they said game three. So uh, we'll see. And, I, and I, I wonder also if Miami now, now that they got one in Boston, could wait until Monday, give him an extra 48 hours just to be a little bit safer. They have done that kind of thing before, so we'll see tomorrow.